This is a video on using the TI-84 Plus to explore statistics. The question states, the data below shows the number of pets that a group of people have owned. Use the TI-84 to find the relevant statistics. And here's the data that we have. So next I go to the TI-84. So here's the TI-84 Plus calculator. And first I turn it on. And then I go to STAT, which is where I enter and analyze data. And I go to Edit. Number one is Edit. So I hit Enter. And I'm going to go up one to get to L1 and clear it. That way I can start anew and hit Enter. Now I just enter my numbers. So I have four, enter, seven, enter, two, enter, etc. And then finally, four, enter, three, enter, two, enter. And now I've entered all my numbers. So I hit stat, and then use the right arrow to get to calculate. And I want one VAR statistics. So I click Enter. And then second L1, because I want to find statistics of the L1 list. And hit Enter. And there's my statistics. So let's look at our statistics that we have, and especially the ones that are interesting. X bar is the mean. It actually corresponds to the sample mean. If this were population data, it would also be the population mean. And that's 3.625. Sigma x, sigma x squared, I'm not going to worry too much about those. But the next one, sx, that's a sample standard deviation, which is 2.6 about. And then sigma x, that's the population standard deviation, which is about 2.5. N is our sample size, there were 16 numbers. So now if I hit the down arrow, I'll get the rest. I'm going to hit the down arrow a bunch of times until I get to the bottom. Notice we have min x is 0. That just tells us the smallest number was 0. I don't need a calculator to see that. Q1, that's the first quartile, and that's 2. Mead, that's a median, and that's 3. Q3, that's the third quartile, and that's 5. And then finally, max x, that's the biggest number. That's 9. Again, I don't need a calculator to see that my biggest number is a 9. So in summary, the sample mean was x bar. That's what you call the average of the sample, which was 3.625. If we consider this a population data, then the population mean we call mu is 3.625. If we're considering it to be a sample, then the sample standard deviation is S, which is about 2.6. But if we're considering it to be the population, we use the population standard deviation. The symbol is sigma, and that's about 2.5. And the sample size, which we call N, is 16. Our first quartile which means that 25% of the data is at or below that number, and that number is 2. And the median is 3, that's the middle number, is 3. And 75% of the data lies at or below the third quartile, so 75% of the data lies at or below 5. And then the interquartile range, sometimes you call that IQR, you take Q3 minus Q1, so that's 5 minus 2, and I get 3. And then the last statistic I want to look at is the coefficient of variation. The formula for that is sigma divided by mu times 100%. Sigma is about 2.5. Mu was 3.625 times 100%. I put that in my calculator, and I get 69%. And I'm done with the problem.